Farmers in India are angry. Thousands across the country are protesting against new legislation they say will expose them to exploitation by private buyers of their produce and by big business. Blocking roads and railway lines, they're demanding that three bills already approved by parliament are not signed into law. There's a dangerous ordinance and we demand it to be suspended immediately. That's why we're stopping railways and roads. If the government doesn't pay heed to our voice, then we'll be forced to take even more scathing actions. The agriculture sector contributes nearly 15% of India's $2.9 trillion economy and employs around half the 1.3 billion population. Under the 1964 Agriculture Produce Marketing Committee Act, farmers have to sell their produce at government-regulated markets, such as this one. They're known as mandis, where middlemen help farmers sell their harvest to either state-run companies or private buyers. Most farmers lease or own less than two hectares of land and have suffered for decades. Many have been driven into debt by increasing costs of fertilizers and their inability to secure competitive prices for their produce. The main opposition, a Congress party, accuses Prime Minister Narendra Modi of making farmers slaves of capitalists. Modi is under pressure to increase private investments in a sector economists say has stagnated. He says the new laws are historic. <laughs> For the first time, farmers have got actual rights over their produce. The reforms in agriculture will benefit small and marginal farmers the most. There are 85 out of 100 farmers in the country that belong to this category. The government says Mandis won't be shut down, but their monopoly has to end. And it says the so-called minimum support price, at which the government buys farm produce, won't be scrapped. Maharaj Singh is a farmer in Uttar Pradesh state. He grows rice on under half a hectare, which he leases from a landlord. He says the government's regulated system was failing, but he's worried about how much protection the new laws will offer farmers against big corporate interests. What can I say? The crops are currently sold for peanuts. The middlemen and the business run the show. They decide the cost. The farmers don't have any choice and they are unable to meet their fertilizers or basic costs. Sometimes these middlemen do offer loans. I doubt the big corporations will do that. Actually, we don't know if they would support the farmers. It's up to our government and let's see what decisions they make. Winning support for change among such a vast and important population as India's farmers is proving difficult for Prime Minister Modi, who won the last election promising to improve their lives.